Yes, welcome to English coaching class. Students, this is a part two video of factual description. Students, those who are watching the, uh, what the video, part one is over, have patience, do subscribe. If new user, do subscribe and let's begin the part two. Okay. Okay, so pause is over. I'm back, students. So here you can see uh, the division of paragraph has not been framed. So what is asking here, the, uh, it is describing introduction is given. Where it is located, National Aurangwai is set up in the last year. Okay, and it was feeling a lack of library come. This place has been the National School Aurangabad. It has established, but library was not there. Now it has done and it is functioning properly. It was inaugurated. Who inaugurated? Uh, it was inaugurated last month by the governor of the club. It had as well equipped a reading room with separate chairs and tables, specially to cater to the need of primary students. Elaborate arrangements of children books. Children book, magazine, newspapers gives praise by all. There is enough sitting capacity in the hall and the book and charts are on the display on the shelves. The library provides all assistance to develop reading habits among the students. It has separate portion from the newspaper. Books have been properly. See students, these ideas are what I'll tell you. The when you introduce the topic, it's not like that. The introduction you'll write and make the people aware this is introduction. It is not like that. You'll write the conclusion. I'm ending the topic and you'll make the people aware about that. It is not like that. You'll write the body and make the others aware that this is the body. When you write it down and you separate the idea into multiple paragraph and that idea what you've presented in that paragraph by reading, I'll understand. I told the library come. Uh, uh, library come reading rooms are the real lungs of knowledge. This line is declaring that this topic is introduced. And the last part, you look into the last part, the books have been properly kept in wooden almiras. Okay. At the same time, what it is talking that wooden almiras and the students have easy access. It is fully ventilated and lighted. It will help in inculcating reading habits among the students. See, last line, it is talking what is the benefit? And this last line is talking the benefit of what we can say reading come, uh, reading cup, a library come reading room. Okay, so the last line is a conclusion line, conclusion part of the what we can say. See, students, this might not cover. 100 to 125 words. That's why to cover up in that particular page, I've just synchronized. I've just synchronized. But you must not do that. You have to properly present. That is the part of presentation. Keeping the paragraphs, separating, giving proper gaps and ideas. The last part, sometimes suggestions, sometimes what you can say, quoting, sometimes benefits. And we come to the end of our writing. Okay, so similarly, when you come as per the writing, as per the topic, you have to come to the conclusion of your topic. Okay, getting my point? So you must not elaborate, you must not go into so much deep that you'll be confused whether you're writing article, factual or report. Okay, getting my point? See, the next, next one, let's discuss the next part or last part we were there. This is person-based, we have done it. We did it, uh, what we can say, uh, place based. Now we'll go for thing based. Okay. Things based or object based. Yeah, the based on object. Uh, suppose students, uh, if uh, you have a good mobile, okay, before purchasing mobile, you, you go to the YouTube channel and see technical gurus. Or different people, uh, they describe the features. 
okay hard proof metallic unbreakable nice color black color golden color nicely designed which material is used uh, tin or fiber it um, it won't break so these are the part on, comes on the physical description they presented you might have seen the video utility value whether you pay the money you get the value of that mobile or not you, it is a benefited for you or not it is worthy or not but you have to describe those points and that description should come up okay you must not state in past events that mobile was like that uh, and had been in that form okay that uh, looks very absurd that is not a fact part what you are sharing it that has become a history and history cannot be a, a word at we can say uh, uh, it cannot be described in easy man okay so uh, yeah it is fact history is it a fact okay i am not saying history is not a fact but when you present it uh, it, it should look like about a event you are narrating it it is going to happen it or it is observed by you special features about the object what is speciality about the object okay let's come to an example example will make you more clear about it okay see the first one i have shown you in the question it asked about what uh, uh, title and about the person was given in the question we mentioned it next it was not given and even in this question uh, in this example there is no arms there is no one is writing you are this you are that nothing is there so you are not writing the pilot in the question it is not given that's why you are not writing in the question it is given you must not you know you must follow that question you write you must write the pilot clear as students see introduction line the space c students another thing when the you start you start the your paragraph you start your paragraph from here your paragraph gets end here you must not continue on the paragraph from here see the example the paragraph ended here the uh, the here the paragraph is not continuity the paragraph again starts from here back paragraph starts from here okay so what is the, the difference here coming up here what is the difference here students you can understand when you start a paragraph whenever a paragraph ends you must not start here you will have to come to the left alignment you must follow proper alignment that what i was talking from that moment a presentation presentation means that is also coming under the part of presentation properly you have not presented the paragraph for a silly mistake for small mistake you are going to lose some marks okay so that's why proper presentation when wherever you start a paragraph the same way the paragraph must start you may leave a line to indicate the change of paragraph you may you may leave a line to indicate the change of paragraph got it clear eh? so a washing machine is a convenient appliance that is used for washing clothes the automatic washing machine has a central drum so you must have seen this washing machine i told you give the example of a mobile technical guru and i have uh, i have bought a washing machine in front of you okay technical guru the bring the mobile phone this brand google or uh, samsung or whatever the mobile they bring it they talk about that brand how they have made it okay similarly washing machine what is washing machine and when we speak something different when we write something different so when a uh, matter of speaking presenting something different and we write it something different language is matters a lot in writing okay washing machine is a convenient appliance that is used for washing clothes okay what is the use of mobile is a convenient app it is an appliance to use for giving a call or to have a talk with on a people over phone okay so similarly here it is a about a washing machine and you have given a definition of it the automatic washing machine has a central drum so we get a semi automatic and automatic so we are talking here automatic washing machine has a central drum in the center that is used for holding the clothes now you can open from the center and you can open from the top from the center and from the top okay so we are talking about the central drum there is a dispensing tray where the detergent and additives can be put in whether detergent and additives you can add something additives means uh, ujala or something you can add or detergent you know students okay so it can be add to give the freshness to your clothes the control panels has knobs no, knobs you know it's a switch 
buttons water is available on the top of the panel when you use the automatic one if it is semi-automatic you might be having the tuck, 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 tuck. there will be a knob where you might you need to rotate and change the uh, on the uh, position to start the machine okay the control panel has knobs which control the temperature allow users to select different modes of operation where you can select different modes of operation the drum also helps to dry cloths by spinning a centrifuge machine okay centrifuge machine you might have seen the big machines that just generate and blew the wind okay high speed wind you might have seen the uh, the similar way spinning work and it rotates and makes the cloth dry okay so this is the de definition introductory line that uh, the body part and this is a concluding line okay so if it is a two line or you might write uh, something more about introduction you may change a paragraph two lines for introduction and here are the two lines for a conclusion okay students three paragraphs two to three paragraphs you, okay a washing machine is usually made of metal parts some of them are reinforced plastic they may be front opening or top loading you can open from top or from the center okay from the front front what we can say from the front or from the top you have two positions of using the um, uh, what we can say washing machine students i hope the idea is quite clear when it is a article a report an article a report is quite different I am giving one example and I'll conclude my when I was talking from article report and all from the very beginning. When there is a question to you students, uh, uh, you are a boy, visit it to a book fair, uh, write a, a report on it. You, if you are, uh, you are a boy, visit it to a book fair, uh, write an article on book fair. You are a boy, you have visited to a book fair, uh, write a factual description on it same place book fair and you are the same boy and the place is same but question is different a report article and factual so students are uh, there is a question sir what what to write how to write again there is a, a doubt in front of you students don't get confused don't don't get confused <clears throat> from the very beginning from the very beginning if it is a report writing in the same format reporting format will come passive form by then what are the same uh, indirect speech that form will be used but when you write article you give your more information uh, what uh, about that event uh, what is there and you present an article on that but you in a factual description whatever is there in that place okay you're not going to report you're not going to write article of that. Whatever is there, you're going to write it down. From entry till exit. You have to declare those things in a declarative manner. This is available. Or this is the menu card I told you. These are the food available. Similarly, when you're going to write it down, if guests arrive, the guest arrival also should be coming presented in the same way, not in a form of reporting. Okay, so you, you just try to understand students the reporting format is quite different article format is quite different writing style that's why i told you writing style this writing style when you write make practice and you get clear to it until as you won't practice you won't be getting a clear idea on it so you may be of class 11 you might be of class 12 you must follow the idea of what i am talking okay what i am talking you must understand that and you must go for practice until unless you're not going for practice you cannot improve your writing part on actual description you cannot improve i'm challenging you you cannot improve you must go for practice you must go for article writing practice or report writing practice at the same time factual description practice totally reported this event or the, the who it was organized by this but here he is the organizer these people are the organizers organize it okay so similar way when you present the ideas should be present in a different way so if you need to explain in a comparison if you want that i'll be coming up definitely in the comments students you write it down and definitely i'll come up with a different video where i'll be explaining with the comparison what is different in article report and factual then i'll if the demand is coming up students you need to know more about it then i'll come up with that but I'll be preparing a separate video for each topic.
okay so this with this we are coming towards the end of our discussion of today's topic okay that is uh, factual description and uh, <coughs> i hope i have touched the major and all the parts of the factual description is this few questions on the screen students you take a screenshot and and it will be helpful for you to practice okay before taking a sign out some more discussions i would like to do it with you students uh, there is a question on your screen you can see uh, you know, the question here on the screen i'll discuss some questions sample examples i'll dis and discuss and then i'll end up see split up of marks when it is of 10 marks it is two title one mark contained four mark and expression five mark when it is of six mark title will remain same with one mark and then at the same time contained and expression marks will be decreasing so the expression consists of accuracy and fluency okay and this two part is quite important you mark it down students okay accuracy and fluency expression part so this expression is very important so as per change of mark accordingly you are going to present so let me discuss one sample example and then i'll take sign out from you and i'll end my today's class okay one example i'll discuss with you students and then this will be the end of the class and if you want me to go for more description more elaboration and with comparative manner for shortcut and easy way for the examination then definitely write it down to me and i'll help you out in preparing that okay so let us discuss a sample example a visit to hospital i told you book fair and here in the question there is a visit to hospital when it is a reporting something different article something different and a factual description what is the difference look at students look at and try to understand hospital is a place where the sick or the wounded come for the treatment they are attended by the qualified doctors okay nurse nurses and other medical staffs the different wings of the hospital are called wards people suffering from different diseases are admitted there and treated the victims of accidents are admitted in the casualty ward people having ear nose throat trouble are treated in the ent ward similarly there is an icu ward for very seriously affiliated heart patient pediatric ward for children 12 year old age orthopedic ward for patient with broken bones and neurology psychiatric ward and patient patient suffering from mental ailment okay this is the descriptive the body part starts from here okay and here from the opening part is the very beginning part the hospital the treatment and they're attended by qualified doctors and medical staffs and the ward is is the introduction part people suffering you can keep in a separate paragraph and it can be a body starts from there okay so introduction has not been separated here okay then you can see students thousands of patients visit the, the out uh, patient department for consultation diagnosis treatment of other diseases doctors and nurses visit the patient at regular interval food and other things are also provided see the language students is r and those kind of language has been used not the past form okay there are private rooms for those who can afford first facilities now coming to the conclusion part or facilities for x-ray ecg oxygen gas equipments blood bank and diagnostic laboratory also exist in good hospitals but no hospitals can be good without good doctor and nurse who are expected to be professionally oriented and kind and sympathetic to the patients a hospital should be a, should be a dreadful place for strange sickness and sufferings it should be heaven where the despair gets hope for a healthy life so you see the way of presentation has been done that is factual description not making your visit as your report in a report writing or a visit for article writing this is what facts is presented what happens in or what is there in a hospital okay with this uh, example i will like to take sign out 
or sign up from your students. Bye bye. Take care. And uh, I'll like your views on this. If you want more come videos on it, definitely I'll be coming up with that. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. I hope there's a doubt, no doubt here, students. If there's any doubt, you can ask me immediately. If there's any doubt, students having a doubt, uh, what sort of stuff should be right in the conclusion paragraph of, the top, of, of this topic? I hope, Pratish, your doubt is clear or still there, you have some doubt? Pratish? I hope your doubt is clear. Yes, sir, sir. Okay, write, sir, it, down. I mean, uh, write it down in the chat box. Yeah, you can write it in the chat box. We can deal it and I can help you out with your issues if it is left out. Okay. So let me take sign out from you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Tada. Good day. Take care.